some of the people that are being released now, we just had one the other day, it, something we can do to make up, to help make up for that lost time? Again, <laughs> right? You uh, specifically from a brain development, and then well, any of you from a. Yeah. I mean, I think I think some of the conditions or environmental uh, circumstances that he would have experienced as he was growing up from age 16 to 29. I think as those start being introduced into his life, I think he'll he'll certainly benefit from those. Whether or not he will be the same person he would have been, very unlikely. Very unlikely. Uh, Mr. Grant, yes, go ahead. And one thing that helped Jess is that when he gets out, he'd be able to get a job. Like he's a convicted felon, he can't work, he can't, he can't, he, he can't he, he, he hurdle, he's knocked at the box and from the outset, he can't get interviewed. Those things are detrimental to the adjustment to back in society. You know, we need to look at those things on a long term basis. You can't vote, you can't get a job, you can't you can apply for the things you can apply for. It's hurting this, this right to be a justice in society. So we can change those laws that cripple someone twice and three times being convicted of a crime. They pay their dues, pay their time, they set them free. Supplementing that, a lot of folks who come out of prison uh, can't even get a driver's license or an ID card. It's very difficult uh, to do some things uh, just of a basic nature to try to reestablish themselves and be able to get a job, uh, assuming employers are willing to hire. Yeah. I was struck 